Hello and welcome to Let's Play Futurama with me, Mr. McLuckable. In the last episode, we carried on going through Red Rock Creek and we ended up in some kind of alien spaceship at the end. It's very, very cool, very, very purple. But yeah, I think we're finally working our way through to the end of Bender's section and out of this uh, canyony, rocky, ready place. But we have a little bit more to go just yet, so we're going to continue on to the junkyard. Oh, well at least that wasn't so scary. You usually have some nasty pictures of the mobs you got to fight, but instead it was just that guy. I wonder if he has a name. That guy that talks with all the plurals is and likes to make his things end in sis. Oh my goodness. Um alright. So yeah, this level's called the junkyard. And this is the bottom of the spaceship, as you can tell. This is where we landed at the end. Um so it's crashed. There's gonna be a lot of well, junkyards kind of go well with the robots. Oh, are you dead oh. yet? Okay, I've got to remember how you fight them. But yeah, that little cutscene over there is supposed to tell you... It's a bit cryptic, but it's supposed to tell you that you've got to get rid of all of the enemies in this level before you can continue. You can't just skip them. No, no, no. The light bulbs go off. So you've got to get rid of all the little lights. Bring it on, right, these are a new type of... Um, Robot. I don't think we've seen these ones before. They, they look. They do this. Ooh. They stand up and then they, they chop down. Let me try and get the camera. Ooh. No, like that. They're actually really easy to get rid of though. Um, because <laughs> they don't attack very often. They're just kind of wobbling. You stupid people. But I do like this level um, because I don't know. It gets it gets quite uh, grand in scale. Uh, you'll see in a bit. Before we go that way and go on these kind of seesaw balancey things, we're going to go down here because we have to get this enemy. Um, nope. Nope. I don't understand why it doesn't work sometimes. I think you have to land right on it, like literally on the robot. Can't be near it or anything. No, no, no. But yeah, it does get quite... There's lots of... Uh, not explosions, but there's some things that happen. It's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, that's a sneaky guy down here, because I, when I first played this, I just went straight up the top. And I was wondering why the door wouldn't open at the other side. No, because you've got to get, get this guy. Which we just did. Alright then, so, junkyard. There are two... Oh, two nibblers in here. So I'm going to go back and get that health. Two nibblers. That's easy peasy them and squeezy. We don't mind that at all. Uh, in fact, we can probably see one. Oh, there's more health over there. Uh, just to our right. Let's have a look. Um, he is here. I'll show you him. It's just on this thing. Yeah. So, this will go nicely with my just have to kind of balance on these things. Get them going up high, and then you can jump. Yeah. Oh. Uh, screw you, Crystal. I'm leaving you. And you. Oh. Oh man, it's jumping really weird. There he is. There, there's the nibbler. Um, I think we go this way. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's go get him over there. Gender what? Gender bender? I beg your pardon. You're so cuddly. I wanna hug you to death. Didn't think I was gonna get that then. Then now, where do we go? Oh, down that way. We can probably go down there and get some um extra crystals and the power up, but we've already got. Well, we've got four power up, so I don't really need to. Let's head down this way then. Anything over there? Oh, yeah, it is. Good, yeah. So, <clears throat> today I wanted to bring up something that I may have mentioned before, but completely kind of skipped over it, which I think looking back is quite quite important to, um, ooh, to the kind of Futurama fandom, I shall say. And that is, back in July, this is all back in July now, in uh, at Comic-Con, San Diego, all the people there, uh, Simpsons, I think Simpsons are always there every year, but they were there, and I think it was Al Jean, the showrunner for The Simpsons, 
the continuous showrunner of The Simpsons who's been there for, well, far too many years now. Uh, see, but see how there's one light left? One green light? That's this guy. I'm better than you! There you go, and now the door will open. So yeah, at uh, Comic Con, they said about they're going to do a Simpsons Futurama crossover. And I think that was kind of overshadowed a bit by the fact they're also doing a Simpsons Family Guy this crossover. And also, I don't think people paid too much attention to it because um, we've already seen Futurama in The Simpsons in kind of little cameos in one of the episodes. Uh, it was like a flash forward episode. Uh, I even wrote it down. Hang on. Let me. Okay, guy. Why? Come on now! You, look, this guy is gonna kill me. That guy just take, took away all my health. Ooh! Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that thing. We'll see that soon. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was called Future Drama. That was what it's called, Future Drama. It was about Bart and Lisa finding Professor Frink's uh, time travel future machine. You can see your own future. You, if you watch The Simpsons, way. you'll know what I'm talking about. That episode. So, in there was a little cameo by Bender. So it's not the first time we've seen Future Drama in a Simpsons episode, but I believe this, from the sounds of it anyway, this is going to be... I'm going to die. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. There you go. From the sounds of it, it's, it's going to be the first proper crossover, as in proper story and contact between the, the two sets of characters, the Simpsons and the Family Guy characters. And more than just a little cameo, haha, -ha, look, there's Bender. I think it says they go through a, a wormhole motorway tunnel and he comes out the other side and is, is, uh, is with this Homer and Bart. It was pretty funny. My empty wallet... Um, oh, can I get up there? I can. I didn't even realise this. Let's get up there and get these crystals. So yeah, that's why I don't think too much attention was paid to it, because we have seen it before. But yeah, from the sounds of it, it's going to be a proper storyline now, because this is what someone said. I wrote it down with my bit of paper. Uh, from J. Stuart Burns, who is a Simpsons writer, he said at the panel where they announced this, uh, Bender has to come back from the future to kill Bart because there's something Bart does that makes the future really 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 bad apparently so from the sounds of that it's like uh, Terminator it's gonna be like Terminator like Bender is Terminator he has to go back and kill John Connor uh, slight aside yeah there's a Sarlacc in this level you know from from Star Wars the Sarlacc pit that is basically what that is look at that weird yeah, let me jump over here and show you very weird way they've went, went about doing it, like the it's textures. Up the it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting. Not particularly scary though, I will admit. Because it's just all flat. So I was thinking more about this crossover, and actually what my thoughts on it are. We have to go through there, by the way. But the door is closed because we haven't killed all of the enemies yet. We've got three green lights left. And there should be three enemies over there. I don't know how to feel about this crossover. I really don't. So you definitely leave your comments below what you think about this this whole Futurama Simpsons thing. Oh, I'm gonna die. This I hate these guys so much. A part of me just doesn't care anymore what the Simpsons do. So fine, go ahead, do a Simpsons Futurama crossover. And then there's also a part of me that thinks. Why are you doing this? It's it's just ruining the continuity of the show and the integrity of the show. But that's long gone by now, I guess. I shouldn't care about that. They can In fact it's probably good that they're trying to do different things like this and trying to do crossovers and Hell even the Family Guy one I don't mind. I think I think it could be fun, it could be interesting. They're past the point of no return now for for ever reaching the same the same standard they were, the Simpsons. Um So yeah, let them do it. Let's see what happens. See if they can... Often is the case with these newer Simpsons episodes is that general general episodes are quite bland and boring. But when they have a theme or a special... a special kind of way of going about the episode, like it's a... Oh, let's get that second nibbler. 
uh, yeah, so if they have a special theme or, or I don't know, they, they do something really different, then it usually turns out okay. I will say that. Um, so that this might turn out quite good, this crossover with uh, Futurama. And what's also quite interesting is it's the last proper piece of Futurama, I guess. Because now the show's cancelled. Um, this crossover, which isn't going to air until May next year, May 2014. This is That's like the last true piece of Futurama you're going to get on TV. Which is really odd that it's going to be in, in a Simpsons episode. Um, oh my god. The electric wires have returned from the tutorial level again. Dodge. Although, shouldn't shouldn't Bender get high? I thought that in Futurama, I thought when a, a a robot got shocked, it was almost like taking drugs, taking a bit of well, whatever, uh, cannabis or something, or weed, all that kind of stuff. Ow, my tiny, you know what? But yeah, not not happening now. I'm just taking damage. That's no fun. Uh, how are we doing for crystals? Oh, that's quite good. Give me that health. Oh man, this is where it goes a bit weird. It goes a bit dramatic. Are you ready? Every platform has got to, it's got to, it's like a necessary requirement. It's got to have a bit where the floor falls underneath you. Oh no! In very odd shapes. <laughs> What's down there? It is the Sarlacc again. Can I get a good view of him? There he is! Hello! Is that a different one? Must be. Alright, so yeah, definitely leave your comments below what you think about that. If you're a big Futurama fan, how do you feel about them appearing in a Simpsons episode? I mean, imagine the um, imagine the, the read-through script, when they like, read through the script um, in preparation for the final recording. Imagine the table. You would have had all the Simpsons people and all the Futurama people in one room. <gasps> Ah, oh, to be a fly on the wall there, wouldn't that have been cool? Do you know what I'm actually noticing? There's a bit of, um, there's a bit of frame rate. Oh god, no, quickly! I forgot about these. Oh no, 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 no! My thing ran out before they... Oh, okay, good. They could have easily killed me then. Stupid blue weasels, they ambush you. Oh. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, imagine, imagine all the people in that room and the talent in that one room. You would have had Dan Casanetta and well, I'm not going to go through them. Well, you know what all the Simpsons people and all the Futurama people are. I was talking about them in a previous episode. It would be crazy, crazy good. All right, good, good. Ooh, I need one. It's a really weird layout. Like, what, what is this part? There is no ex I don't know what this part is supposed to be. Just general rooms or something. I actually think we're near the end of the um Ooh. Nearly near the end of the uh, mission. You Does he does he actually come in here? Oh that missed. <laughs> That's why as of today okay, good. they call me Killzilla. Thanks, Bender. Okay. I think you just have to time this right. Ooh! Yeah! Yeah, I think the ending's just around this corner. And then we will have uh, a boss battle, it's, I think. I think that's it's right. My birdstone, Robobium. Let's just get up here and have a look. They always end at really odd places, these levels. Like before, it ended when we just landed on that random platform. Oh! I didn't mean to use that. Damn. Okay, well, that was a waste. <laughs> Those rock men are easy to kill. But yeah, now there's a there was a uh, crashed UFO. And now there's a random submarine. It actually, it looks like the uh, yellow submarine from the Beatles, except it's now gone brown and rusty. Uh, and then I think we go down here, and it's the end of the level. Look at that. Oh yeah, 22 out of 22 kills. Good, good, good. Didn't die once in that level. Oh yes. Very nice. Two nibblers out of two. Nearly got all the crystals, but yeah. And so the next level is Rumble in the Junkyard, which is going to be the boss battle. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye!